economic rationalists recommend downsizing. Management consultants are brought in to bludgeon the less viable of their workmates and cast them overboard. Old timers plead for mercy and respect for their age and experience. And after due consideration, they're given a large, heavy gold watch attached to the ankles. <laughs> you think I'm a silly old bastard, don't you? Jared, I think you're a wily old bastard. And frankly, that's the only reason I'm still here. I don't know what this is all about, but it's not restructuring, is it? I didn't think so. See you on the boat. <laughs> Shoot! Shoot! Shoot me! Shoot me in Jesus! Our Father, who art in heaven, <laughs> oh, please don't let me die. playing happily in the sand, I doze off. <clears throat> Suddenly I wake up, something's wrong. They're not there. <clears throat> Running down the sand, I see them being pulled out by the rip. As I crash through the waves, I see them drifting apart, struggling. I see her little face twisted with terror. I see my son further off. He's a boy, trying to be strong, maybe he'll make it, holding his gaze, yelling to him. I swim towards her. You know, if I want a client or if I want a woman, I think the same thing. Know your product. Research. Last night I got this invitation to Antoinette's room, you know, Miss Ambiance. Reception calls her away for a minute and leaves me alone. So, research. I open drawers. I look. I put back. Little respect at someone's life. So, perfume, CDs. Where does she hide things? Under the bed. Shoes. 20 pairs, hardly worn. Lonely? Klepto. She shops so other women will notice. I make a note. Compliment her on her shoes. How'd I end up here? Well, dividing up the furniture wasn't hard. She told me what I was taking. <laughs> I didn't argue. I was treating the thing as momentary madness. You want to know the saddest sound in the world? Cardboard boxes and packaging tape. Look, um, Dad's got to go away for a while because uh, Mum needs some time without Dad. But I promised myself that I'd be different. I would never be apologising to a six-year-old that I couldn't be there for his birthday. No way. Not me. I'd be a much better man than that. Hey, Lyndon. Lyndon. Come here. I want to talk to you. Come here to your daddy who loves you. Come here. I want to talk to you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Should I have a little chat, that's all. Hey? You want to talk? No? No? Come here. I'll spin you round and round in a circle till you're sick. You like that? <laughs> no? It's my boxing match. Boxing match with that? Ow! <laughs> Did Mummy teach you that, did she? <laughs> Come on, Lyndon, we've only had three minutes today, we've got five to go. <laughs> He's got the world on his shoulders. 
Luckily it's round Cause he can twirl it on his fingers And roll it away along the ground What's a beer? Yeah. Hey, uh, tell me, has Jared had a little heart-to-heart -heart with you boys? Yeah. yeah. What do you reckon that's all about? Oh, yeah. He, uh, he gave me a pair of cufflinks. I got a cigarette light. He gave me his pen. His wife gave him all those things. Boys. Oh, yeah, it's like shit on McBride time, is it? Well, come well, on. No, yeah. we don't have to lay shit on you, McBride. You do it yourself. Oh, tried to kill me once. Came out and moved the cricket bat. Oh, why do I attract all the crazies? Is it me? Is it me? Do you think it's me? This could possibly be me. No, every woman in the world's some sort of raving psychopath. Of course it's fucking well you. Listen, Fonzie. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind little Richie Cunningham having a go. I don't even mind occasionally having to listen to whatever dribbles out of that esoteric, arty, farty mouth of yours. But don't you ever, ever think you can tell me how I should live, who I should live with, or where I put Mr. Happy. <laughs> Everything you say is just existentialist, fucking wanky, pseudo-intellectual bullshit. My three-year-old boy knows more about life than you, pal. At least he's got someone who loves him. Beer? You meet a woman and what's the first thing you do? You have a kid together. Smart, isn't it? And you think, why don't you grow up? What, you shove it up your ass? Yeah, cool it, cool it. Look, you're scaring the turtles. You know what your problem is? You haven't got the guts to leave her. Yeah? And you don't have the guts to stay. Shut up. You can never tell her what you want. You can't even tell her you stuck your tongue in. What sort of a life's that? I stuck it in, but I did not wiggle it about. Poor miserable bastard. <laughs> <laughs> well, see the think tank started. What do we got? <laughs> this, this is not a good time for us. <laughs> I'm not going to take it anymore. You want to restructure? Come on, sack me! Yes, yeah, sack him! I can't do that. I can't sack partners. What do you say? Something about being gay. Maybe I'll be hailed as an adventurer for my daughter. Maybe I'll see my son again. All the kings and queens in history, they couldn't turn back time. So what chance have I of a miracle in this life of mine? If I could have one day To unsay the things I say Undo the things I've done It's true. This is from Jared. Hey. Dear McBride, <laughs> By the time you read this letter, I'll be long gone, but I've got one last little mind fuck for the three of you. <laughs> Howard, get my briefcase from under my desk. What are you doing? Are you, hey, 
Are you channeling Jared? <laughs> hey, I'm reading what's on the list. How come you're moving your lips so we can hear his voice? Oh, because it's a theatrical device, you dickhead. Yeah, that's for films. <laughs> it's not just for films. I think the audience understands that he's dead. Are he's you really two finished? <laughs> Sorry. Well, why don't you just say what you thought of him? Well, I thought he was a wily old bastard, you know. To the wily old bastard!